Welcome back to the channels. My name is Thomas Fletcher and I'm the host of both the LCSW Network and the Military Social Work Network. If you're new to both my channels, please do me a favor by smashing that like button, by subscribing to the channels, and by sharing this video with your social work colleagues and friends. The purpose of both of these channels is to create a community of hope and support where social workers can come for relevant news, information, and inspiration. Well, welcome back to Ask a Military Social Worker. We are continuing our life planning series. The title for today's episode is Life Plan 304 for MSW graduates. A uh, quick disclaimer before we go any further. I'm not a military recruiter, nor, nor am I representing um, any of the military programs that we will be discussing today. Uh, furthermore, this video is not being endorsed, sponsored, or promoted by any military or governmental agency, and the views and opinions stated in this video are mine alone. All right, so in today's episode, we will be discussing the pathway of attending the Army Social Work Internship Program. So what is the Army Social Work Internship Program? The Army Social Work Internship Program, or SWIP, SWIP with a P, is a program designed for individuals that have completed their MSW program but have not um, become licensed yet. All right, so basically this is for newly graduated MSW graduates, people that have just received their MSW degree, okay? But have not become licensed yet, all right? So what are the requirements to get into this program? Um, you do have to be between the ages of 21 and 42. Um, this is kind of a, this other requirement is a little bit strange, but um, I will leave a, I will leave a link in the description box for this program, but they do say you have to have at least 18 credits, 18 semester hours of social science or behavioral science classwork which of course you're gonna have more than that, having a, a MSW, um, but that's one of the requirements. Um, you also have to be a US citizen. You also have to be willing to um, serve for 42 months as your, as your uh, ma mandatory military service obligation, 42 months, okay. Um, but, as, as with the other uh, programs that I've talked about, um, this program will not cost you anything, right? This program will not cost you anything. It will cost you 42 months of your time, but you will be, you will be compensated for that time because you'll be an active duty uh, social worker. Um, but there are, let's talk about the four core programs within this program. So this social work internship program is a 26 month long program where at the end of it, you will, you will have your, you know, your two years of supervised hours that you will, uh, that you will need to take your licensing exam. So once you complete this program, you will have the, you will have the hours that you will need to take uh, your advanced practice social work license exam. Right. So while you're in this 26 month program, you will have four different rotations. You will have a social work leadership rotation, management leadership rotation, behavioral health rotation, family advocacy program rotation, and addiction medicines program, uh, addictions medicine rotation. And where, where, where do these um, rotations take place? These rotations take place at uh, various military treatment facilities around the country. So these are active duty military treatment facilities where active duty service members go to get medical care as well as mental health care. Okay. Uh, one, one such location 
um, is at the um, military treatment facility in San Antonio, Texas, right? But there's, the last time I checked, there were about 13 military treatment facilities, but every year they add, every year or so they add new ones. So um, again, I will leave, I will leave uh, the, the link in the description box. Um, so when do you apply? You do have to apply, you do have to be mindful that there is a board that means once a year to review applications and that board meets in January of every year. Meaning that you will have to apply and get your application in um, before that board meets in January, okay? So I think this is a really good um, pathway for MSW graduates. So you do this, you do this SWIP program, you get license, and then you have a 42 month service obligation. And again, as I've, as I've said in other videos, if you're gonna do 42 months, you know, you might as well stay in for 20, you know, have a 20 year active duty career, and then you can retire and you can, you can apply for a, a civilian job at the Department of Veterans Affairs and do another 20 years, right? I know I sound like a broken record, but if you're, um, if you're in your, your mid to late 20s, your early to, 20, early to mid 20s, you could do 20 years. You can retire in your mid, mid 40s, and then you could do another 20 year career in the VA and retire in your early to mid 60s, right? And as I've said in other videos, you know, make sure, and again, I, I will make a separate video for this, but make sure when you're working active duty or working in the Department of Veterans Affairs that you are contributing to um, the government's 401k plan, which is called Thrift Savings Plan, TSP. You do that for 20 years, you know, and you do more than the more than the minimum. You know, the minimum to get that matching contribution is five percent. You put in five percent. Uncle Uncle Sam puts in a matching five percent. But if you do more than that, you are going to be sitting on a really good nest egg at the end of your twenty years. You know, whether you, whether you work in the VA for twenty years or whether you work in the Department of Defense for twenty years. And then if you do if you do that twice, you know, a 20 year career in the in active duty DOD, and then you do another 20 year career in Department of Veterans Affairs, you're going to have two very fat TSPs. But again, to summarize, let's talk about what let's talk about the main topic in this summary. So again, this video is for MSW graduates. Um, who are looking to do something with that MSW. I would tell you, apply for the social work internship program, you know, and that will, again, that's a 26 month program that will give you that licensing. You'll be able to get your licensing hours, supervised licensed hours that you will need to take your ASWB advanced practice exam, right? So you do the S, you do the SWIP program, 26 months, you complete that. And, uh, and then you, you know, you do your 42, you complete your 42 month service obligation. I would say go even further. Might as well, might as well go for 20, 20 years, you know, retire mid forties and do, then do another 20 year career in the Department of Veterans Affairs retire at 62, get that 1.1 uh, first pension at age 62, 20 years of service. You can retire from the VA, have two, then you'll have two government pensions, you'll have two TSP uh, 401ks that you funded, and then you could, you could either retire completely or you could, you know, open up a private practice or uh, teach. You could teach about all the experience that you've had as an active duty service member and as a Department of Veterans Affairs civilian social worker. 
All right, so I'm gonna stop right there, but I wanna thank you all for watching this video. For all the social workers and other licensed mental health professionals, thank you for the work that you do every day for your clients, for your agency, and for the profession. Please continue to support each other and yourselves. Bye for now.